All right, we're heading down to the south side right now, live from the south side. Okay, just keep, keep zooming out. That is a rib. That's a dino rib. Good Lord, look at the size of that thing. All right, it is time for Taco Tuesday. We'll get to the ribbon in just a second here. And joining us with this delicious looking, well, the giant rib and everything else here is Adrian Davila, owner and pitmaster of Double A Barbecue. Good afternoon, sir. I'm still, I'm just blown away by the size of that <laughs> rib there. So, all right, we're making your Double A tacos, right? Correct. Okay, how'd you come up, what's a Double A taco consist So, Double A tacos is one of our very popular tacos. Um, you can eat it for brunch or actually any part of the day, but it's your basic bean, cheese, and bacon. I mean, you can't go wrong with bean, cheese, and bacon. Okay. Then we're going to throw a slice of prime brisket on there, and we're going to top it with salsa, and it's going to be on a flour tortilla. So we're not just doing like chopped up brisket. You're just going for the whole slice. Absolutely. Of it, right? All right. Toss, <laughs> toss me over a, a tortilla there here. And so what do I do first? So we're going to put some beans on there. So okay, these are little... refried beans, homemade. Okay. How'd you come up with this idea? Just it's like, hey, what the heck, right? Oh, we love the... tacos here in San Antonio, so it's a, an okay. interesting combination. We're going to put the cheese on there. This is very mm -hmm. important that you do it this way. You know, I want to put the cheese on top of the on the beans because it allows the, the cheese to melt. And it's not going to spill off the sides. Oh, it's kind no, of tucked no, no. on in there. So, okay. <laughs> and we're going to use a slice of bacon. A whole slice of bacon. Yes, just sir. Let it kind of hang yes, over the edge yes, there. Yes, sir. And then we're going to get a slice of brisket. A whole slice of brisket on top. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh, look at that. <laughs> and you do all the briskets yourself right absolutely okay. every, everything every smoked meat is done by me oh gosh that smells <laughs> good and then what next now we're going to use old man salsa which is a local guy here as well this is a homemade salsa just puts the puts the, the okay and this is now i go for it absolutely okay all right well i'm taking a bite of this which is gonna this this will keep me occupied here for a minute mm -hmm. how'd you get started doing this that's a good question so uh COVID happened and um i was terribly busy selling brand new homes so um, typical on social media, I've always wanted to expand my, my expertise in every, every area that I can do. Um, I was on social media looking at courses to, to better my game, so I enrolled in a pitmaster class, uh, did that. I actually went out and studied a lot of the greats, you know, um, uh, some people are local to Texas, Arnie Tex from South Texas, uh, Mama and Papa Joe is local here from San Antonio, uh, Aaron Franklin, and a lot of the greats, so pretty much what I did is, uh, get a combination of everybody's expertise and kind of make a own. So you were like a lot of folks, kind of a backyard barbecue, and then you decided, hey, why not, right? Uh, absolutely, so I'm a second oldest of eight kids, you know, so a lot of time was spent cooking for my brothers and sisters and family. Wow. Oh yeah. So you learn how to cook for a whole army, basically. Absolutely, <laughs> have a baseball team. Do they still like come around and go, hey, dinner time, <laughs> all the brothers actually, and sisters? They, actually they do, you know, I love it. It's, it reminds me of, of growing up is that, that time together when the family's coming to eat and enjoy the food. Okay. Now, the whole barbecue buffet, though, mm -hmm. I mean, this looks like a buffet in itself. By the way, <laughs> that is so good. How many could somebody eat of these? How, what, how many have somebody put away? Um, I used to be able to put four of those away, but as they, <laughs> I used to. Now it's a little different, though, but I've had people come and grab a couple, and, um, and they'll come back and grab a couple more as well. So it's a very popular taco. Okay, unless you're really hungry, this is one of those that you have to share, Neil. <laughs> Let me tell you about it. Okay, so the barbecue buffet. Mm -hmm. Buffet. Um, we like to eat. I mean, I'm from the South Side, and you know, there's nothing more to bring a, a buffet to the South Side, and of all things, barbecue. Um, there's a lot of great barbecue talent out here in San Antonio. There's a lot of awesome pitmasters, and um, I want to give people an opportunity to try the food, so that ultimately, that we, what we do is we do a lot of catering. So the $20 buffet allows people to try out the majority of food that I have, so that they can get an idea of, of what we offer. Okay. When you're going through the whole barbecue process, you said it's almost like a, a zen type mm -hmm. thing, and it all depends on the weather and the temperature and the, the wood you use and everything like that, right? Absolutely, so, you know, to come up with a good barbecue, you gotta be consistent, you know, and, and the weather plays a big part of it. Either you're smoking at night or during the day, if it's raining, it's windy, uh, you gotta be able to think on your toes when it comes to smoking meat, especially an offset smoker where you're actually using wood. So fire has its own, his own mind, and you gotta be able to tame that and control your fire to, to get good product like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excuse me while I talk with my mouth full. <laughs> so every, um, let's see, Tuesday, two dollar Taco Tuesday, mm -hmm. second Sunday of every month, twenty dollar barbecue buffet, mm -hmm. and kids twelve and younger eat free. Absolutely. So we want to. I mean, I have kids. I'm the second oldest of eight kids. Remember, mm -hmm. so for us going out to to eat, it ended up costing a lot of money. That's ten people. So this gives an opportunity to families to come out, enjoy barbecue, have their kids eat, 
and, and enjoy it. Okay, where are you located? Uh, we're at 1107 Roosevelt Avenue. Uh, we're in the red building behind Carnita Longa in the same same uh, vicinity. Okay, do yourself a favor, try that, because that's really darn good. <laughs> More information on Double A Barbecue, head over to SALive.com, click on the As Seen on SA Live tab, or just uh, scan that QR code at the bottom of the screen. Adrian, thank you very much, sir. Thank you.